I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm with, what's your name? My name is Barb Birchmeyer. And where are you from? I am from Chesning, Michigan, USA. USA. And first time here? Yes. And how is the experience for you being now here in Medjugorje? It has been amazing. More than I could have hoped for. Yeah. Staying with the family is very special. Mm -hmm. And then today, you know, we didn't know, we thought it wasn't going to rain. Mm -hmm and we're walking and all of a sudden the rain came down and I just kept going. I thought the group was ahead of me and they weren't, but I just kept going up the, up the hill and saying the rosary and slipping and sliding and thinking as the rain came down that Mary was just telling me she is just washing all of our sins away is how I felt walking up saying the rosary and I got up there and halfway up but quit raining for a little bit and then it started again and it's just just beautiful i mean to think that's where our lady has stood and i actually yeah. got some orange all over i put my hands down in the water and <laughs> yeah. in the puddles and i took a stone i don't know if i'm not supposed to do that but yep. i took a little stone with me mm -hmm. and then um it's just been i heard her say you know we have to forgive and I do have someone in my heart that I've been having a hard time forgiving. And I know that's what she told me, that standing up there in the rain, that I, I need to forgive. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's what I'm going to do, I need to forgive. I see it already on your face. You're, yeah. you're clear, you're shining. Yeah. yeah. And I crawled down there <laughs> in the rain. And, oh, man. Um, Growing up, I grew up on a farm, right? Yeah. And very stony ground, we always picked stones, but I rode horses a lot. Yeah. And all of a sudden I thought, the horses would come sidestep down this hill. Mm -hmm. So I started sidestepping down the hill mm -hmm. and it was good. And I made it down and found our group there in the chapel. The chapel over there is just beautiful as with, well. With the Christ, like, like yes, real? Yes, like Oasis real. of peace. O yeah. Oh, Oasis, beautiful. It's beautiful, you liked it? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's t Jesus' toenails. Yes. Everything, it's like... So sat there for a while and mm -hmm. thanked Jesus that I was able to go up and visit his mother and mm -hmm. come back down. And you have always been Catholic or one time oh, you went in the world? All my life, all my life. Oh. I, I thank the Lord every day where I, the family I was born in and where I was born in the mm -hmm. middle of Michigan, very rural, German Catholics. You yep, know, like my me, German Catholic. Great, yeah. uh, my, my grandpa, you know, when... In 1920, when they didn't have any money, our church started mm -hmm. in 1879 by oh. Germans that had came over, uh -huh. and um, they built this, the church had burnt down, they built this amazing church mm -hmm. that's got so much German heritage in. The windows, stained glass windows came from Germany. They're estimated at 250,000 apiece. Wow. They came over in 1920, mm -hmm. and, you know, the Lord put me there and put me in this beautiful family filled with faith. So I'm, I'm very blessed. And what would you tell people for what, what is the beauty of the Catholic faith for you then? The Eucharist. The Eucharist. Why? And, yeah. Because we can, Jesus did that for us and we can have Jesus every day if we want. Yeah. And the next thing, and my mother was a convert. Mm -hmm. and, she was a convert? Mm -hmm, uh -huh. to Protestant? Mary. Uh, uh, seven day Adventist. <laughs> <laughs> seven day Adventist, okay. Yeah. <laughs> to marry my father. Yeah. And, you know, my my grandma wasn't very happy about. Yep. My grandmother neither was <laughs> my uncle who married a Protestant. <laughs> yeah, and she converted and she always told us. Yeah. My mother always said, You pray to Mary. My mother had a huge devotion to Mary. Why? She, what did she say? That we were blessed. This was, she was our mother. Yeah. You know, and um, she always, we always prayed to Mary. For intercession for mm -hmm. her son. That's for our Protestant friends. Yes. They, she's not a goddess. Yes. She's, she's interceding. Yes. Like a good mother. Like a good mother. She always, when you couldn't go to sleep at night, mm -hmm. you just pray to Mary. Yes. You just pray to Mary. She always told us that. Just pray to Mary. And what happened to you during praying, like praying to Mary? What, did, what are the results of that? I've been so blessed. Yeah. In which way? Well... Um, I found in high school, mm -hmm. my husband, love mm -hmm. of my life. We are both great, married, lived five miles apart, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, 
we were married young. Mm-hmm. He was 20. I turned 21 on our honeymoon. We were blessed with five beautiful children. Mm-hmm. I have 18 grandchildren. Wow. They beautiful. all live close to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on our centennial farm mm-hmm. that's, uh, you know, over 100 years in, in our family. Mm-hmm. And um, my oh. husband wow. passed away in 2020, wow, April sorry. 27th. He huh. was 56 years old of cancer wow. during the lockdown, so he couldn't have a mass. Mm-hmm. Because in Michigan, they closed everything. It was awful. Mm. The churches, the governor was very, very strict. Yeah. And so we couldn't have a funeral. Uh, but my cousin, who's a priest, met us at the cemetery, you know. And it was very, he had a very peaceful, beautiful, my kids, we were all there with him. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, Mary's carried me through it. I see it. It's amazing. And what would you tell people who have a loss like that? You can pray about it. You have to it. lean in. Just yeah. lean into Jesus. Yeah. Just the way, the truth. Of yeah. Life. Just pray the rosary. And there's so many people that have. I mean, I'm in this beautiful place where I live. My husband built me a house before a new house before he died. Wow. You know, on our farm, and I have I have so many blessings. And there's people looked at in war torn or that don't have the faith. I've been blessed. And my dad, mm-hmm. who was a widow, yeah. my mother was 68 when she died, yeah. and he lived with me for eight years, and mm-hmm. he always told my husband and I that the time I have Appreciate. on this earth without my wife, Bonnie, yeah. is minutes compared to what I'm going to have in eternity. Uh-huh. So that's what I think. This time on earth I have without my husband mm-hmm. is minutes compared to what we'll have in eternity. Together again, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. Yeah. Wow, this is for me impressive. You know, I lost my brother, my sister, my mm-hmm. mother, like over the years. Yep. And uh, I've lost both of my parents. You know, and my oldest brother right now has um, aggressive frontal lobe dementia. Mm-hmm. He's 68 mm-hmm. and can't walk or anything anymore. He doesn't know me. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and I hope, I hope the Lord calls him home soon. Mm-hmm. Wow! 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 Wow, I'm impressed, you know, because I go through that period. It's it's can be tough. It is, and times, yeah, I no? get where I feel sorry for myself, and I get say the Divine Mercy Chaplet. My mm. dad was very devout, Divine Mercy. Why that? Yeah, he was. He was very devout. Mm-hmm. He went to Poland mm-hmm. to visit Saint John Paul mm-hmm. and um, Saint Faustina mm-hmm. um, about ten weeks before he died. Wow. Mm-hmm. The right moment, no? Yep. Well, he, yes, he had been all over the world, but that was his last pilgrimage. And and for you, how, how is it for you, like, um, like praying the Divine Mercy Chapel? What does it bring to you? That was your father's story. For you, how is it now oh, if you pray it? You know, is have mercy on us and on the whole world. Mm-hmm. You know, for the sake of a sorrowful passion. I just, you know, the, that part, the blood and water gush forth. Mm-hmm. And it's so true. And, and I, every morning I read from St. Faustina's diary. Daily, uh-huh, diary. Yeah. I get it every day. And, you know, Jesus told her that we, we need to start, you know, praying. And he, we don't understand his mercy. And, yes. you know, and I think he came to her, you know, in Poland mm-hmm. at a very important time. Yes. And Second just global. like these here apparitions. Yes. These, what brought, drew me here was mm-hmm. in 1981 when they mm-hmm. started. Mm-hmm. That was, I was their age. You know, I was 17, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So um, they're like my age. And I'm thinking, what if the Lord, what if Mary would have came to me when I was in high school? Mm-hmm. Like, he It's did, amazing. No, yes, right, right? you think about that. So, uh-huh. Yeah. And when, when you had the first time about magic going, what did you think? Did you d- directly believe it? Or is oh, it, yes. What, what the heck is that? When, uh, yeah. I, how did I first, I think just through you, oh, I know why. I think maybe on Relevant Radio, they were talking about Ben Jagori. They were talking about Marian apparitions. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember as a kid watching the Fata, original Fatima movie, mm-hmm. you know, and I believe that, mm-hmm. you know. And so I started digging in, and a friend of mine in my lay ministry class two years ago in June, she was coming here, mm-hmm. and she had asked me if I wanted to go, and they were staying with one of the cousins of the apparition visionaries, and... Um, My kids asked me, not right now, Mom. It's kind of, you know, the war just started. And so I said no, but it was on my bucket list. Mm -hmm. And last September, I went to a pilgrimage in Italy, Eucharistic Miracle. Mm -hmm. And Father Ken was on 
the trip with us, and mm -hmm. he was on our bus, mm -hmm. and he had gave us all the pamphlet that he was coming mm -hmm. in March, and I thought, small group, and I thought, I'm doing it. Doing it. Yep. And you were excited being here, Oh, no? yes, yes, yep. And what would you tell people, you know, in, in Medjugorje, confession is very important. Yes. People are scared to go. 20 years, 30 years, they come here. It is here scary. And what would you tell them? Why not to be scared about confession? What is the beauty for you about confession? You know, we didn't always, I didn't always go as much as I should have. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times at Easter and, yeah, and Christmas, so nice. yeah. we would have communal. Uh -huh. So you could come into the church and we had this little uh, prayer service and then they, He gave you a minute, and he said, okay, you're all done. Bless you, and you walk out. Well, that was easy, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, two years ago, I went to um, Our Lady of Champion. It's mm -hmm. in Wisconsin. Yeah. It's the only approved apparition site in the United States. Wow. Well, listen to it. Maybe go there if you are close. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal. Why? Um, just, you know, mm -hmm. Our Lady protected this one little square, not even acre, where the... She had told them to put the church and to teach the children from a huge fire. And everybody that was in that church mm -hmm. lived, and everybody else around died. Died. There's just everything was burnt. It was an inferno fire. It was unbelievable. So I, um, I visited there, mm -hmm. and um, they were, had confessions going. And mm -hmm. I really, probably for the first time in a long time, I went in, sat in the old type of booth where you pull the screen, mm -hmm. and I just told just told them what I you know and um, you know my struggle sometimes being angry because my husband died mm -hmm. and in some other things and I walked out and I just sat there and cried because it just felt so good yes. so I've done much better since then yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> because we can all it's human we get yes. angry why me why do you take mm -hmm. my husband why my brother feel a little sorry mom? for myself you know yeah. That's the human reaction, yes, no? But yes. you also made the experience that then I said at Christmas, I said, what is this all about? Why did yes. you take my brother? God loves this frank talk. Yeah. But I, for my part, I said then, I know I learned in Magic you are good God for whatever yes. reason this happened. I'm forward, moving forward, yes. step by step yes. by step. And no? you know, I was angry that I couldn't have a funeral mass for my husband. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know. Could, you can, human wise. Why yeah. is that COVID thing? Yes. And why did they let the governor Why did the bishops let the governor tell her we had to close our churches? Yes. Right? Why would they let... But... But you, you know what a priest said in, in confession? He said... Like, yep. The priest told me in confession, Tom, don't judge. The job of God. You yep. enjoy life. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's what, that's what um, he said. No, actually, the one priest told me, he said, if you want, we'll do a mass right now for you, for your <laughs> husband. And I said, well, it's been a year. It's, you know, a little late now, but... You know, he'd offered that, so that was wonderful. That's beautiful, mm -hmm. isn't it? It was beautiful. And at the end, what would you tell people why come to Medjugorje one time? Well, I don't, I don't know if it's for everybody, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but I know, gosh, listening to those men, the testimonies of the young men yesterday mm -hmm. at... Um, Cenacula Community. Oh, my gosh. That's, that was amazing. It's amazing. And we, we say that's for the community. If you have like people addicted in and your I, family, go to that I community. I have a, a young, one of my good so, friends from high school, his younger brother is <laughs> lots of struggles. And man, I'd like to get him. Janakolo like, community. Yes, Check it out on the I internet. Know. Addiction, Janakolo community. Yes, it's beautiful. But I think if, if you really feel like you need to get that closeness mm -hmm. and you really want to immerse yourself, mm -hmm. this is is the place to it's go place. and it's, it looks you, like I can see it in your eyes you have a personal relationship with God oh, yeah. if somebody's looking for that what yes. would you tell them how can you find that relationship well pray mm -hmm. pray the rosary mm -hmm. yeah. pray the rosary and read the Bible mm -hmm. I mean the Bible's very clear I mean up until what 1600 there was one one church yeah right yeah. you know I mean, yeah. read the early fathers um, you know, um, the early saints. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like to read, you know, but I just say start by praying the rosary because it is going to draw you to Jesus into yeah. the Eucharist. Unbelievable. Wow. What can I say? Thank you for that beautiful oh, interview. Yes, thank you. I don't know.